Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a 24 inch symbol that weighs, I'm not kidding here, 6,400 grams, and actually over that, it weighs over that, and we're going to shave it down to something much, much lighter weight, and we're gonna see what we can turn this symbol into. But first, let's listen to it now. All right, so as you can see, that is a 24 inch Z power ride. I don't know which era this is from. It's basically uh, Captain America's shield. It's the heaviest symbol I've ever had in my shop. It's got the craziest shape. It's super tall and umbrellaed. And then at the very edge, it has this hard flange down to the, the edge. And as you've probably heard from other videos that I've made, Tall symbols like that are just in the stratosphere pitch-wise. They're really high, and then when you couple that with uh, the ridiculous weight that it has, you just have this unbelievably pingy, uh, shrill, tight, controlled sound, which really works for death metal, for... Um, I'm not really into those styles, so I don't even know what those styles are called, to be honest, but anything where you just need a loud cutting bell to get through the electric guitars, this symbol would do the job. Uh, it came in for a modification because the, the drummer hadn't played it in over 20 years and wanted to turn it into something a little bit more functional. And I had never taken off this much weight before on a symbol, but I decided to give it a go to see what would happen. And so let's head out to the shop and start on this modification and we'll see where it ends up. So here's a couple of the things we're facing with this guy. You can see all these little uh, wave looking things. This is called lathe chatter. And it happens when you have an inconsistency in the material or an inconsistency, inconsistency in the machine. And it causes the bit on our lathe tool to jump. And so as it's going around, it's kind of jumping, cutting these little channels. And those channels get bigger and bigger. What you can see in the light is you see those divots um, this is probably part of when they press the entire symbol into shape. Those divots, it's almost like little crinkles in the material. And it's they're at equal distances apart, which is going to be another thing that's going to create chatter. So as the lathe is going around, it's kind of launching off of these little, uh, these little ridges and coming down into the, into the ridges uh, across from them. And it's just kind of bouncing the bit across which is just making it very hard to remove weight evenly and consistency consistently. We've obviously got quite a bit off of it, um, but we have to go in with a grinder and a flap disc to basically smooth all this stuff out uh, before we're able to go back in with the actual lathe bit to cut away the material. So, mega fun. All right, so the weight is 3205 now. We've officially cut half of the weight off this symbol. And after letting it rest for a day and checking it out, this shape right here is really not doing this symbol any favors. Uh, umbrella shaped symbols like this are a lot more uh, choked when it comes to the spreads. They don't have a nice, clean, shimmery wash. They tend to be pretty seized up. The sustain is pretty short. And so what we're going to do is cut it right there. 
So instead of a 24 inch, this is going to become a 21 inch. And we're going to lose height. We're going to lose this much height from the symbol. Bring the symbol down lower. Uh, the pitch will go up because it's smaller, but hopefully we'll be able to cheat in some more sustain from the symbol. Just so you guys can hear what it sounds like now, uh, this is it in its current state. 3,200 grams, half of the weight is gone, and uh, we're on our way. All right, this is after the cut down. You can see the, the shape, it's a lot lower. And listen to this, this is pretty interesting. Given what it was, uh, 24 inches, now it's down around 21 inches, maybe a little bit more. Uh, listen to the sound of it. It actually sounds a little bit lower pitch, so it's like we, we went down in diameter, which typically would raise the pitch, but uh, because we also lost a bunch of height, you can also kind of hear that it's it's lower. So now at this point, I'm going to basically taper the edge a bunch to get this feeling less uh, chunky. It's not very warm, doesn't open up very easy, easily, so uh, a nice taper here, and then the symbol will probably be finished. All right, here it is. This is the finalized symbol. We are now at 21.75 inches so after the cut down i basically cut it down right where that hard flange was to try to uh lower the height a little bit so that we could get some additional spread uh and after all of the weight removal it's now down below 2300 grams so we've removed almost 4000 grams from this symbol which i never thought i would ever say that in my entire uh, professional symbol smithing life, but I have, I'm saying it right now, 4,000 grams have been taken off this symbol and it is now a much different beast. So let's take a listen to it. Okay, a couple notes on the sound. Uh, it is, it's got a really trashy crash that is incredibly quick. It hits you really hard, gets out of the way. It's got plenty of stick definition, even though it's a really thin weight. And this really comes from a couple factors. The first factor is, is the, the shape that it has. Even after the cut down, there is still quite a bit of height to this symbol. Uh, and as I've said before, height equals pitch going up, and it can also equal control on your spread. So when, when I say spread, I really just mean wash, the washiness of the symbol, uh, the way that the, the sound propagates out, the sustain that it has. And so taller symbols have a shorter sustain, they have less spread, they're much more controlled, uh, and this one is no different. It's also got this very interesting thing that we noticed when we were doing the modification, which is at the edge, right before it hit that hard flange, it had almost what looked like little crinkles in the metal all the way around. And 
if you look from a side view up close, you can just see a slight wavy edge all the way around. The, my only explanation for this is that it probably had to do with the process of actually pressing this piece of metal into shape because this wasn't hammered apart from some decorative hammering at the very end. This whole symbol was pressed into the shape that it has and right near the edge where the hard flange was were these waves which it's almost like as it was pressed in it just the, the symbol kind of crinkled up at that area. So what that's resulting in is the edge of this thing does not have uniform thickness. Even though we did the lathing uh, and uh, we did it in a uniform way, the material itself, because of those waves, there was some chatter on my lathe, the lathe tool bouncing. Uh, so it doesn't have a uniform thickness all the way around the edge. It's, it's thicker in some places and thinner in others, uh, which this would also greatly limit the amount of spread that it would have. The other thing is the bell. The bell is, is rather large on this symbol and large bells also just increase the volume, they increase the pitch, they increase the sustain. Uh, and given the fact that it's also tall, which limits the sustain, we really just have landed on a symbol that is uh, relatively controlled. It's got a very trashy crash. Uh, but it's also very clear and the stick definition is there even though it's at a really thin weight. So as you've heard, there is a version with rivets and a version without rivets. I prefer the one with rivets because I find that it gives the symbol a little bit more life in the sustain, in the spread that I find that it lacks without that. Uh, it's one of those things where based on how the symbol was designed, based on how the symbol was shaped, that's really uh, that's all I could get out of this symbol from the standpoint of the sustain. Uh, but adding the rivets helps. It kind of gives it a little bit more life in the bed of wash underneath the stick sound. Um, really, this was an interesting project. I wasn't anticipating uh, anything in particular. I was just more so just curious to see what would, turn, what would come out of this symbol. And obviously, you can tell it's drastically different. Uh, but please let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Uh, do you like the mod? Uh, do you think I should have just left it alone? Uh, and we'll get the conversation started there. Until next time, see you guys later.